Hello friends, I am Dr. Sandeep Basin from Careval Medical Center. Today I will be showing you how we do tattoo removal using the lasers. Now you know tattoo is some foreign material dye which has been injected on the skin either for beautification or to, or to conceal some white patches or some deformities on the skin. The treatment of these, white, uh, these tattoos is either using lasers or by surgery. So one of the lasers that is very commonly used for the tattoo removal is called Q-switch laser. Now this laser, there are two wavelengths that are commonly used, 1064 nanometer and 534 nanometer. So with these two wavelengths of the Q-switch, we are usually able to remove the normally the black color ink and sometimes the blue color uh, tattoos also. So black and blue tattoos can be removed with 1064 and 534 nanometers. For other colors like green tattoos or the red tattoo, we are we require some other wavelengths like 636 or 534 or different wavelengths of the lasers are required to uh, to remove these uh, these different colors of tattoos. So what we will be showing you is now how we use the Q-switch laser to remove these tattoos. Uh, we require multiple settings of these lasers. We, one setting is not sufficient to do this. But there are now special techniques that are being utilized like R0 technique or R4 technique in which we give the full setting of, the, of this laser and then we wait for about 20 minutes and again we give another setting of this laser, Q-switch laser. Like that we give 4 such settings. Now this technique is called R20 technique. Similarly there is another technique called R0 technique where we use some special chemicals like perfluorocarbons after each setting of this tattoo removal laser. So perfluorocarbons they help to absorb the gases and they allow the settings of the laser to be done more quickly in one session like four or five settings can be done in one session. These are new two latest developments now R0 and R20 technique of the tattoo removal. Similarly some new things have come in tattoo removal like pico lasers have come, new wavelengths as I told you which were not present before are now available for the tattoo removal. So these are a few things that are now available now. Another thing that's new in the tattoo removal is we are combining Q switch with the CO2 fractional or RBM YAC fractional. So combination of lasers is also being used to remove tattoo. So this is something that's new which is coming up in the tattoo removal industry and if you do not have much time to remove tattoo, you are running short like you have to join some surveys, you are in, uh, going for some interviews or you have to join some government job or some airlines where the tattoos are not allowed then laser is not usually a good method then we have to go for surgical method like derm abrasion or skin grafting and uh, in future I'll be preparing a video regarding that also how we remove the tattoos with a very short time for the tattoo removal. Now let's see how we do tattoo removal using the Q-switch laser. Okay friends so we are starting with Q-switch you can see we are covering the eyes with the eye shield and it is very important. Q-switch laser is very dangerous if it comes in the eyes. Now this is the tattoo, we have covered it with the top lap, local anesthetics and we are cleaning the entire area with the antiseptic solution. Another thing, this tattoo is black in color and uh, this is uh, most probably amateur tattoo, it is not a professional tattoo. This is a Q-switch machine, we are opening this machine, there are the settings of the machine that we are doing. We are choosing 1064 nanometer. And the and energy we are choosing as 700 millijoules. This is a we are starting with the shots of this Q switch. We are focusing and giving the shots of this Q switch on this tattoo. And usually we require multiple passes. As I told you, like R20 technique, we give four passes at the interval of 20 minutes. And like that we can give multiple passes in one sitting but we have to give a gap of about 20 minutes in between the subsequent passes. This is how the tattoo lives after the immediately after applying we are, we are giving some antibiotic ointment on this to cover it up and 
normally we require about 8 to 10 sittings there's a few of before and after results we can have a look at them of the tattoo removal with the lasers